It's Weekend Update with Colin Jost and Michael Che. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to Weekend Update. I'm Michael Che. I'm Colin Jones. Well, yesterday was a weird one for President Biden. He went under anesthesia for a colonoscopy, and when he woke up, the House had passed a $2 trillion social safety net bill, the Rittenhouse verdict was announced, and a woman had technically been president for the first time ever. And while Biden was processing all that, he was rushed off to pardon a turkey named Peanut Butter. <laughs> I mean, come on, the guy just turned 79. Half the country already thinks he's senile. You can't drop all that on him the second he comes out of the gas. <laughs> I honestly can't believe how well it went. Remember David after the dentist? <laughs> I'm surprised we didn't get Biden after the colonoscopy. On Friday, Kyle Rittenhouse was found not guilty in the murder of two men during a Black Lives Matter protest. So hopefully he got all that shooting out of his system before he becomes a cop. <laughs> Protests are being held all around the country in response to the acquittal of Kyle Rittenhouse, which is brave because Rittenhouse just got off of shooting protesters. I don't know, maybe don't tempt him? <laughs> Matt Gates said his office would be open to hiring Kyle Rittenhouse as a congressional intern, because Gates has always loved teenagers who are willing to do terrible things. <laughs> Steve Bannon, seen here ordering one new liver, please, <laughs> surrendered to the FBI on contempt of Congress charges and said, we are taking down the Biden regime. Well, I hate to break it to you, Steve, but I think Biden's got that covered all on his own. <laughs> Bannon addressed his supporters in a live stream on Getter, a social media platform popular with Trump allies. Getter is named after what its users say whenever they see a woman walking alone. <laughs> A Washington, D.C. art school is postponing renaming its theater after alumni Dave Chappelle following his Netflix special controversy. Well, of course, because God forbid you should name a building after someone problematic in Washington, D.C. <laughs> Meanwhile, my old high school insists on keeping the Michael Chase sucks butt bathroom stall. Some of my best work. Arizona Congressman Paul Gosar, seen here watching an interracial couple walk by. <laughs> has officially been censured after posting a violent anime video that depicted him killing Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez. But I don't know, he's a 60-year-old man who makes his own anime. When he heard he was getting punished, he was probably like, is it nipple clamps? I just... <laughs> I just hope an octopus doesn't do anything to me. 